Hello, this is Gio, and uh, this is a little project that I recently did to uh, move this water heater here, and I did some of the replumbing here, but I actually had to cut into the wall uh, to connect to the existing pipes. So my next my next job is to patch this hole. Now there are a couple of complications. There's two pipes coming out. There's actually even some electric um, conduit coming out. And so it's not going to be the easiest patch um, to do. If it was just a nice little square patch, it'd be fine. But I have to get around these pipes and the wire. So I'll show you uh, some techniques how to do that today. So the first thing I did was just kind of cut out a line the way I want the, the finished hole to, to look. I uh, made this a little wide so it will actually uh, go about halfway or at least uh, maybe half an inch into the stud here. Here, there's no stud there. Up here, there is a board that goes across, so I'm just gonna cut it here. I'll just fill this area in. And over here, there's also a stud. So uh, the drywall will be attached to this stud. This stud, I'll have to somehow secure it on the bottom. And of course, we'll, we'll figure something out here in the middle. So I'm just gonna use my little uh, Dremel uh, Multimax to uh, do the cutting and um, if you don't have one of these you could always use just just a knife or uh, other saws so I'll go ahead and do this and uh, see, uh, see you in a bit so now that I have the rough cut out I'm just gonna measure the dimensions of it it's about 14 inches 14 inches by about 19 inch. Now I'm gonna take a scrap piece of uh, drywall that I have and I'm gonna cut it to 14 by 19. Actually just a hair smaller, just so it's not too tight. Um, it's okay if it's like an eighth of an inch off on each side, so uh, because you're gonna fill it in with uh, some drywall mud. So I'm gonna always measure twice, cut, cut once they say, so 14, 14 and 19, so just a hair short on those. So now that I got the rough rectangle board and it generally fits, good. Now we have to deal with these pipes. So I'm gonna have to take this and actually split it in half. So I'm gonna try to cut it kind of mid pipe. Make sure I have it centered. Gonna mark it there just to verify kind of the other pipe. Okay, so I got this lower board already, so it should fit in generally space. And now I just want to know where to kind of mark where the pipes land. And I'll just do a little center and the center. This one's a little bit higher, but that's fine. And so I'll kind of cut a little notch. So I made the notches, perhaps a little low on that end, but it's fine. We'll plug that in and with a little adjustment, I had to shave off a little bit of the edges here and there, but there you go. That's about what it looks like. 
And so this little piece, of, uh, this extra hole here will be partly covered up with here, but I'll also cover that up with drywall uh, mud. So, so it looks pretty good. And so the next step is just uh, think about how to secure this in. Now, let me take this piece off again so you can show, so I can show you the problem. All right, so I took off the top piece. And as you can see here, again, we have a two by four up here, part of it one here, part of one here that it supports on. We don't really have one on the bottom. And along this little seam here, we don't either. To try to help reinforce this little piece, because even though you will tape and mud this seam, it'll be kind of a weak point that can kind of move around. And so I uh, cut out a couple of little pieces of wood here and I'm going to actually glue, glue them on the uh, top here and up the back of the bottom on this side as well. And then uh, uh, once the dry, uh, glue dries, I'm going to actually uh, screw in some dry, drywall screws to reinforce it. And then when I put the top piece on, I'll just screw into this with drywall screws as well. So that will help keep these joints intact. Amount. Okay, so we got the board all ready. I did not uh, drill into the board. The wood glue actually is doing a really good job holding this together. So we'll just leave it with the wood glue and then we kind of fit it in place and make sure it slips in there. There we go. Yeah, it seemed to work out. Let's put this piece in, and this will be supported by this backboard. There we go. Now we just have to start. All looks good. Let's just start putting in the screws. Okay, so I added the uh, drywall screws and everything seemed to be holding really well. Uh, put these things in to hold the board that's on back of this one and everything's really tight. Uh, it, it seems to be holding really well. So next I'll be doing the taping and some mudding. Okay, so we want to put the drywall joint compound on our drywall mud and uh, we also want to use the drywall tape here. Uh, so the so the joints are nice and secure. So we just start with some drywall Joint compound just kind of fill in the cracks here Get this out of the way Kind of start up you try not to get bubbles under the tape. So you put some mud on first, enough to fill in the joints, and then just with some pressure, just squeeze the mud down, and then at the bottom just tear off the remaining, and then you can cover it up with just a thin coat. And this would be just the first coat. You're going to do this several times between each coat. You're going to uh, sand and go from there. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Once it's painted up, it should uh, hopefully almost be invisible. So that is how you patch up kind of a complicated patch job on a on drywall. I hope this helped you out. I wish you luck on your projects, and I'll see you next time.
，拜拜。